basically the default in the bar is that each bar has roughly a quarter of the RDA. So if you eat two bars a day, you're only getting half the RDA. And we actually had a lot of internal debates about this uh, while we were developing the bar. And the idea is nothing in the bar is there at levels that are over what's normally present in a diet. So that includes vitamins and minerals who are actually there at lower amounts, many of them that are in a vitamin pill. But they're deviations from that default. So depending on like vitamin D, we have more, vitamin C, we have more. So it's not exact, but that was the default that we finally agreed to after multiple and the, meetings right. and intense <laughs> discussions and disagreements. The we, point we is did to finally agree to that. balance and not to uh, overwhelm the body. And we know that excess of various nutrients can actually lead to adverse outcomes. And so that was one of the very important variables that we're trying to control. Yeah, and I think the underlying thing that, that um, Bruce maybe was going to say in a minute, but maybe not, is that what we ended up realizing is what we were doing was filling gaps in bad diets. We were just filling gaps. We weren't putting anything in addition to what would be in a good diet. And so that's really what the bar is all about, is filling gaps. And underneath that is this idea that if you do that, you're going to improve metabolism, even if you do that on top of a diet that isn't well balanced, that has too many carbs or too much fat. And so that the fact that the bar actually worked when we did that was actually a big surprise to us.